this handbag, which is the Hermès Picotin, is one of the most underrated handbags that there are out there. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Amy, if you're new here to this channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my very comprehensive review of this bag. The size, the weight, the material, how it looks on, what it fits. Of course, those of you who are very familiar with Hermes, then you would know that this is one of their very popular non-quota bags. And it is called Picotin. And yes, I do speak French, so my pronunciation is the correct way. The official name of this bag is Picotin Lock. 18 touch because mine has a touch of exotic on the handle part here and this is matte alligator i looked up on the dictionary just to give you the exact definition quantité d'avoine donné à un cheval valant d'environ 3 litres aujourd'hui le mot picotin est fortement lié à l'univers des chevaux un picotin est une ancienne unité de mesure pour les grains a volume variable selon les régions, voire d'une ville à l'autre. Essentially, the word picotin is a unit of measure, which is around three liters of oats that are given to horses. And it also varies, uh, the volume varies from a city to another. Hence, the reason why it looks like a bucket, because it is one of those, I suppose, buckets that they give um, to horses when they feed them. I've had this bag for over six months now, so I feel like I can give a pretty thorough review. Mine is the 18 centimeter. It also comes in 22, 26, and 33. That's really big. In fact, I think I had a chance to try on a 33 in the store. I couldn't confirm whether it was really a size 33, but I just thought that it was gigantic on me. Therefore, I just made the assumption that it is. And I'll just insert a picture. It was really fun. And apparently there's a nano version, which is 14 centimeter. In any case, the 18 centimeters means that it measures 18 centimeters across right here, 13 centimeters in the front. And I believe that I measured from um, the height of the bag is about 18.5 centimeters. The drop right here on the handle is approximately 12 centimeters. When it is completely empty, it is 461 grams. I also have this organizer in there, which I highly, highly recommend. I feel like it is a must for this bag and we'll get into that. So with the organizer, the total weight becomes 511 grams because the organizer itself is about 60 grams. Even though this is an 18 size, which is the smaller size of the Picotin family, I feel like I can get away with everything plus more. So just to give you a glance of what it fits, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. I will also just remove the lock at the moment so that you can really see what's inside. Normally, I don't ever remove the lock. The lock is secured on there permanently. I never remove it. It's part of the feature and the decor of this bag. Mine is in palladium hardware. Once you remove your lock, it it can um, basically slide out and you can see the content of my bag really, really well. So let's go over what we have here. Let's go from the top. So we have sunglass case, which is standing upright. Hand sanitizer, which is also standing upright. We have two pouches, one like this, another pouch, which is my mini pochette from LV and this one does fit across like this. My six key holder to easily get in and out of my house. I have a Chanel mirror and I also have my AirPods, my coin purse. And last but not least, I have my wallet, which is my current card holder. As you can see, this bag is very, very roomy. It fits all of that. In fact, if you really wanted to, you can fit a small umbrella in there. There's really no issues. You might sort of see the top of the umbrella, but that's really not a big concern of mine. This is the seam as me putting my sunglasses standing up all the little things that will otherwise swim inside your bag but you could just put it in two different pouches and that way it keeps your bag really well organized that way this bag does come in several different materials i've seen it in felt 
in canvas. Mine is in a grain leather called Torillon Clémence. I've also seen it online that it comes in Torillon Maurice. Not familiar with that one yet because I don't own anything from that leather, but as far as Dorian Clémence, I'm very, very much a big fan of it. Dorian Clémence is a leather that was developed for luggage and is an ultimate example of grain leather that has been drummed. This process softens the skin and brings a general grain to the surface. It came out in 1992. The appearance is a semi-matte, generous and irregular grain, and the feel is soft and smooth and it also becomes supple over time. The longer you have this, the slouchier it becomes, which is the reason why an organizer is very important. As I said earlier, mine also has a touch of exotic. Whenever you get exotic leather on your bags, on your leather goods, it does come with a CITE certificate, which you have to bring if you ever were to travel with your bag. I was told that I could either bring that certificate or my receipt. So definitely keep that in mind if you were ever to buy a exotic bag or just a bag with a little bit of exotic skin just because you need that when you cross customs. For hardware, there's really not that much. There's a little bit of hardware right here and two little um, rings right here as well. And then the feet, which are all also palladium. I always remove all the stickers right away. I have gotten into a habit of doing so. You otherwise don't really see the shine of the hardware, which is why I always remove all the stickers. This bag is unlined, so the interior of the Torillon Clémence is just the raw side of the leather. The inside on the bottom which is kind of hard to see right now, has the branding Hermes Paris made in France. The serial number is on the side where it has the two D rings stamped right on here on this leather panel right here. Clémence, like I said earlier, does soften over time. If I didn't have this inside the whole time that I've owned this bag, it would have already softened all the way around here in the corners much, much more. And then if I didn't have these types of handles, it will also kind of drop. Just go on Fashion File and look at some of the older ones, especially the larger size. That's where you can really obviously see the um, kind of collapse of the leather. Nothing wrong with that because that is the nature of Torillon Clémence, but it's just that if you want to maintain more of a structure over the longer term, then you really want to buy yourself an organizer. So I highly recommend you get a custom size organizer. So this is made to the exact measurement of the inside of the handbag. And mine is from Samorga. Of course, I've been a longtime ambassador of Samorga and I only recommend their organizers for that reason because they make the best organizers. They always buy the bags themselves so that they can perfect it, make it exactly fit inside the bag. And not only that, I highly recommend the raw edge version because with the raw edge version, which means that they don't fold over the edge and stitch it again, which of course gives it more structure, but you don't want too much structure that it would actually create lines also. That is the thing with this leather that it, it softens over time. So you don't want your inside organizer or the inside liner to start creating this line over time on your bag as your bag falls and collapses more. Mine does have more structure already to begin with because of the special handle. But when you buy a regular picotin in just the plain leather, then it will become softer and softer and it is easier for it to fall and collapse. So I definitely highly recommend that you get the raw edge because it has the least resistance, but it still gives you all the structure around the bag, around the body of the bag and the base to give you not only peace of mind when you use your bag so you don't dirty the inside, but also to keep the structure all around, especially around the corner sides, to really help your bag maintain and store properly. And of course you get extra little pockets. They do have several designs of the organizer for the picotin, except that I do highly recommend the raw edge myself, which has pretty much since day one lived in it. And if you want this exact color, I will also make sure to link this exact color in the description box. So this bag is probably not gonna give you the best resale value, 
Not only is it because it's not a quota bag, of course, but it's also a bag that does get a lot of wear and tear because of the nature of the leather, Torion Clemence, which is usually what it comes in, uh, tends to fall over time. That's the property of the leather. It tends to sort of become a puddle, it creases, and it loses a lot of the structure. That alone will affect its resale value. Of course, color also makes a big difference. Usually, the neutrals will probably do better. Unless it's a brand new one or a very coveted color, usually, I would say in general, the picotin design doesn't keep its value as well. But if you want to just be on the safer side, then always just protect your bag. Make sure that you store it and use it properly. Have an organizer in there and choose a color that is well loved by many people. For me, the pro is the size. If you know me for my Chanel collection, all of my bags, I would say 90% of my bags are mini size. In fact, I even have some really micro size that I I actually can get away with on a daily basis. But this one is just that extra good size because not only is it still small, because it is the smallest of all the picotin, but it actually fits so much. So for me, this is almost like a small medium sized bag because I normally don't really need that much stuff. But I know that whenever I reach for this bag, I can get away with not having to organize my bag, not having to play Tetris with how to fit the things inside. It's just such an easy bag to get in and out of. It's also a bag where you can wear it on the crook of your arm so, so easily. I currently only have a sweater on, but even with my bigger winter coats, it's not a problem. This is one of the more affordable non-quota bags because non-quota bags can get just as expensive as their quota bags, believe it or not. So the fact that this bag is very price friendly, if you get it just in the plain leather, I think in Canada, they are currently still just shy of $3,100 or around $3,200 before tax. So it's a really, really great price. It's a great entry price for Hermes handbags. There are some other bags from Hermes that are cheaper than this one, but I just feel that for what you get and also the quality and the construction, this is really phenomenal and it's such a great price point. Last but not least, I think that this bag is not only super easy to use, but it's super cute and feminine. I feel like this bag is one of those chameleons where you can dress super casual and wear this bag, or you can be a bit more dressy and still wear this bag. It can even be a bit edgy sometimes, especially depending on the color that you get. So because mine is in black and I have palladium hardware, of course, it's so versatile. Now the cons. Of course, I mentioned it earlier, it's a bag that will lose its shape over time because of the leather that it is. It's only a handheld bag. Yes, you can potentially attach some straps here and here, but it's not the intention and the design of the bag to begin with. So you do whatever you want, but it's just not the original design. Essentially, when you buy this bag, if you want it to wear it the original way, it's really just handheld. So you can't be hands-free with this bag. Another con of this bag has to do with the lock and keys. Yes, I love the lock because it really adds to the design of it. And it's really purely aesthetic. It doesn't do much aside from looking nice and for having a bit of bling on your bag. It also cinches in your bag for you in a sense that the weight pulls down this string here. So it helps you kind of close the top a little bit more, make it a tiny bit more secure in a sense. But it is a con because you have to have keys to open your lock. And it is so easy to lose these keys. Even earlier as I was playing with it, the string came apart and one of the keys fell out. So I always have to make sure that I store these keys in a safe place and that I don't forget it because I don't know if I ever lose these keys, whether I would be able to find a key that will open this lock. They don't give you a little placeholder to hold your little keys, which you know, you do get that on the other bags, but you don't get it for this bag, which is interesting. Non-quota bags are getting harder and harder to get 
even with clients that regularly visit and shop at Hermes. So um, I can only imagine that for non-frequent shoppers that it would be that much harder but it's not impossible last but not least and we spoke about it earlier it's the resale value it's highly dependent on the condition the color and how much wear and tear you have on your bag all in all i would still repurchase this bag a hundred percent a hundred and ten percent because i simply love this I feel like ever since I added this bag to my collection, and a lot of you know how my collection looks like, I just have so much joy using this. I love the ease of access. I love that it's small, but it's big. It's so classic. It literally goes with everything. So for me, this is definitely a forever bag, and I definitely am super, super happy that I got this exact combination. In fact, if I could buy another one, I would. I'm wearing my Hermes cashmere sweater for Chanel belt from the spring summer collection 2022 and this beautiful skirt as you can see this whole look with the bag with my picotin 18 it's a great look it's a great look to go shopping to go to work to go to brunch with some girlfriends forget to check out the Samorga organizer that I talked about. I will make sure to link it down below and also you can use my 20% coupon code to save at checkout. It applies on every product, not just the Picotin organizer, but I myself highly recommend the raw edge version and the two millimeter has been fantastic and I wouldn't I wouldn't use this bag without one. Some bags don't need organizers or liners, but this bag does. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you back. If you want to support me further, you can join my membership where you get more exclusive content or you could just buy me a coffee. I'll have all the links down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.